Hello, Internet! Shalthus here, and it's time for another episode of Arena Time here on Shoutstone. We are beginning another season of Arena Time, featuring one of our favorite arena players, Trump, back in action, post-patch arena, potential 12-run dream, or 12-win dream. It sounds a lot better. Anyway, without any further ado, let's get to the action right now. It is... Jaina versus Garrosh. Trump playing the part of Jaina the Mage, and Garrosh being played by Battle Rogue. So, warrior player being played by Battle Rogue. Hmm. Oh well, such is life in the arena. Anyway, so as you can see, we've got uh, because this is coming from Trump's stream directly. He's got this lovely overlay. Um, the important bits being, of course, what you see on the right-hand side there. You can follow Trump on Twitch at TrumpSC, on Twitter at TrumpSC, and on YouTube at TrumpSC. So, it's pretty easy to find him on all three of those sources. Also, Trump, the only officially sponsored Hearthstone player. So, maybe someday we can get sponsored by somebody. I'm not really much of a player, but I do cast a lot. <laughs> anyway... Hopefully you've all had a check chance to check out uh, the first episode of Games in 60 Seconds that I put out on the new channel. Uh, you'll be able to find a link to Games in 60 Seconds in the description below, also at the end of this video. And also don't forget to sign up for our tournament. I'll be putting a link to that at the end of this video as well. Anywho. So already a few things coming out for both players. Harvest Golem out for our Warrior player, and Water Elemental for Trump as we enter the fourth drop turn. Senjin Shield Master coming into play. Trump gonna bring out a Dark Iron Dwarf, buff it up to take out that Shield Master. And now some pretty sturdy minions on the other side of that table. Our warrior player needs to be considered, needs to be careful there, does play Cleave and a Whirlwind to clear the field as well as attacking with that Golem does get the Death Rattle spawn and plays a Loot Hoarder. So, good response there. Not really able to do a whole lot with the uh, cards that he played. Plays that uh, Injured Blade Master. He gets the ping off with his uh, Fire Blast to clear off that Golem. But now we are down to uh, still some fairly low value minions at this point. But it's still only, you know, entering the midpoint of the game. Siddic Swampu's coming in. Great card to have against a warrior player. It doesn't really have much benefit beyond being a nice 3 2 when it comes to, uh, any, you know, a mage player, basically. <laughs> Alright, Argent Commander comes into play. We'll take out that Acidic Swamp Ooze, the Injured Blade Master, clearing out the Loot Hoarder. And now, our Warrior player is staring 8 damage in the face. He does have 3 extra armor, so he's in positive health. But let's take a look at what Trump is, looking, is sitting on right now. So he gets that Augur Drake into play. We'll armor up again to put himself at 35 armor. Still enough to be easily taken care of and really not a huge enough deal to make this game turn any significant degree. But Injured Blade Master to take out the Augur Drake. He'll trade that. Gets a Chillwind Yeti into place. Plays that Argent Commander to whittle down the rest of the armor. Pings it off. So it's back to standard health. And once again, the, the health differential is really nothing right now. It's not significant in any degree. Uh, Trump still has the advantage. He's got the minion count, and he's got the card advantage at this point. Um, actually, it's fairly even as far as card advantage goes. It's slightly in Trump's favor, because he will get the draw on the next turn. Of another cleave coming off after that uh, <clears throat> Audrey Drake comes out, and we'll play Inner Rage to finish it off. So an offensive buff spell played there. But a good bit of removal. 
Sharp gonna respond with a Frost Bolt, ping it with a Fire Blast, play another Chillwind Yeti. So, field clear again, Trump still has the minion count advantage. Card count is still slightly in Trump's favor. But now it is time to start dealing some damage to the opposing hero, but it all really depends on what happens from turn to turn. Um, Alright, Stranglethorn Tiger gonna come out, so that won't be able to do much to that on this turn. And armor up once again, back to positive health. And now it's time to start attacking in with the Yeti. So he's gonna play his Jungle Panther and Razor Fen Raptor. Or, whatever. It's a raptor. Whatever. Okay. So things looking pretty good. He's still sitting on a couple polymorphs and an arcane missile. Those polymorphs he's holding on to mainly for, uh, well, for one reason, he can't use it yet. Because of the fact that the tiger is stealth. And also, it's, uh... Alright, so he's got quite a few minions coming out into play now. He's going to use that Wolf Rider to clear the Raptor. Attacks with that Stranglethorn Tiger to finish off another minion. He's really trying to buff up this troll. So he's going to finish off the little guy. It looks like he's just trying to really buff everything up. He will finish it off with the Panther. So it doesn't really get much benefit. Or at least not much use, unfortunately. So, Raging Organ and Senjin Shield Master are in play. Another Raging Organ. And a Spellbreaker to Silence. So, Taunt is a non factor at this point. And Raging Morgan gets a quick shot in. Another armor up, not really a whole lot to say right now. Another Arcane Missile, so... It's gonna be interesting. I mean, he is also sitting on that Stampeding Kodo. But... Alright, he's just gonna... Take it out with the Shield Mast, it looks like. Or, no, I guess not. Eyeing that Spellbreaker. He's also got those uh, arcane missiles that he's drawn. I think what his concern is right now is playing those arcane missiles could trigger an enrage on those on those worgen and not finish it off. But I guess he's just going to see how it plays out. So he plays the first one, and it triggers on them both. Oh no. <laughs> that is precisely not what he wanted to have happen. But he's going to play... The Arcane Missiles again, and it will be enough to finish off one of the Worgen, and he can ping it, the other one, to take it out. Very nicely done. Stampede and Kodo comes out. Nothing for it to kill, but doesn't matter. Still in really good shape. Both players starting their fresh arena run here. 0-0 zero, zero at this point. Alright, Warrior Player plays the Upgrade. Use that to take out the Shield Master. And armor up again. So this is going to be a fairly long game, and we are in the end game point right now. Trump does have that Venture Company Mercenary, which he is going to put into play, because he's not really... There aren't really a lot of minions out there right now, so I think he's feeling pretty confident, because even if his opponent responds with something pretty sizable, he's got two Polymorphs already in his hand, ready to go. So he can shut things down pretty easily. And a slam on that Venture Company Mercenary. Gets him a card draw, and here comes an Arcanite Reaper. And he might use that to take out that Mercenary, and he does. He is down to 18 hit points, though, but the counts are still fairly even. Mirror Entity, now an option for Trump. And he will put that into play. Attacks him with the Kodo, pings him with Fire Blast. And has a 9 point health advantage right now. Card draw is still ever so slightly in Trump's advantage. 
because at the start of this turn, the opponent has two, but Trump will have three by the time it's his turn. Faceless Manipulator comes out, and that will proc the secret, which will give him another Kodo, so it's very Kodo up in here right now. Plays the Arcanite Reaper on the second turn to finish off that Kodo. Armor's up yet again, sitting at 13 hit points, now a 10 health differential. Gonna attack straight in, I bet. Yep. And now, he will just polymorph that Kodo and finish it off. That's one thing that a lot of people seem to overlook, is when, they, when they're when they playing mage decks and they polymorph an opponent's minion, they don't consider removing it from play. And depending on the opponent you're playing against, you could be staring at somebody who can buff that thing right up and turn it back into a formidable minion. So, always remove your polymorphs once you've taken them out, if you can. You know, obviously use it when you need to, but be mindful. Alright, so Knife Juggler and Armor up for the Warrior player. Shattered Sun Cleric comes out. He's going to use that to buff up that Kodo just a wee bit more. And will he take out the Knife Juggler? Yes, he will. Things his opponent with Fire Blast. And things are looking pretty good for Trump at this point. 11 to 23. Has the card advantage. Has the minion advantage. Heroic Strike. He's going to use that to take that Kodo out, but get reduced to 9 hit points. So he's in the single digits, which means it is time to be considerate of where you stand. Attacks with a minion down to 5. Trump does have that Frostbolt, which basically means he has this game on lock next turn if that Shattered Sun Cleric survives. Ah, but there's Ascension Shield Master. But it can be polymorphed, so... Opponent up to 7 hit points, but a Raid Leader could come out into play. Yeah, I think what we're going to get here, Polymorph on that. He's going to be able to play that Frostbolt and that Raid Leader and attack in and finish off the opponent. So, he's going to do those 3 damage, hit the Frostbolt, and he's just going to ping it. Makes sense. Either way, it works. Game over. GG. Trump takes the first win of this arena run with his Mage deck. So, there you go. Trump uh, plays really well there and basically just manages to stay in an advantage the entire game. Uh, but there you have it. That's going to do it for this first episode of Season 7 of Arena Time. I'll be back Friday with the next run of this, but I'll also be back Wednesday with another episode. So don't forget, here are the links. Check out the new channel, Games in 60 Seconds. Latest video is up the first video, Hotline Miami. It'll be new videos every single Monday, so don't miss that each week. And also the link to the tournament sign-up page, uh, actually to the tournament sign-up video, so you can watch and, and get all the information about what the tournament's about, how it's going to work, and uh, what you need to know if you're going to sign up to play. So, thank you all very much for watching. Don't forget to find me on Facebook and Twitter, like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you folks next time.